Hello YouTube, here I have the Galaxy S10 running Android 10 and today I'm going to show you how you can remove Google Lock from the Galaxy S10, S10e, S10 Plus running Android 10. Ok, so I'm rebooting the phone and I will connect to Wi-Fi. So the FRP Google process does not require a computer, It always uh, you will always need to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to continue. Ok, so let's wait for the phone to boot. OK, you're going to need to hit start. Next, agree to all, hit next. OK, just like I said earlier, you need to be connected to Wi-Fi. It is very important. OK, after connecting to Wi-Fi, hit next in order for the phone to go to the Google page. So I'm going to show you that the phone is actually Google locked. Ok, so we see that the, the phone is actually Google locked and we cannot proceed further. So what you need to go now, you need to go back to the welcome screen over here and you need to take a screenshot. On the Galaxy S10 you can take a screenshot with volume down and power in the same time. Ok, it will ask you to allow or deny the storage. You need to deny, you need to take another screenshot again with the volume down and power. Again, you will need to hit deny and don't ask again the last option that shows up over there and you're gonna need to take another screenshot the last screenshot perfect and now you have the chance to go to settings and that's where you should go now you need to go to permissions now you have a search on the top right under the camera click on that one and type for chrome C -H ok chrome perfect you have open on the bottom left, you need to click open, accept and continue, hit no thanks on the bottom left. Ok, so now you are in the Google, you need to search for Android 10. FRP by Viral. So Android 10 FRP by Elb Viral. Okay. Now you need to open the first one on the results that shows over there. This one. Okay. Perfect. Now open the first article with the Android 10 over here. And then after the article loads, you need to scroll down and you need to find something that says what to download. And there should be two files over there. Okay, let's scroll a bit more. Okay. Okay, so here we have. We have the remote one APK and we have the Elb Viral FRP tool for Android 10. I need you to long press the, the first file. So the remote one APK, you need to long press it and hit download link. It will ask you to allow the download, click OK and when you see open, click open or you can click the details in order to go to the downloads folder. Ok, okay so we see that the file is actually still downloading, it's gonna take a bit more for the file to download, I have a slow internet connection, ok, it is downloaded, you need to click, it will say that the install is blocked, go to settings. Enable allow from the source, hit the back button one time, hit install and when the installation is done you need to click done, don't open the application after it is installed. Ok, click done, go back, so we go to the same article 
And now you need to click on the second file, Help Viral FRP tool for Android 10. Okay, after that you need to scroll down and find a green button that says click here to download. Long press the button, hit download link. Click OK to start the download. After that you can wait for the download to finish or you can click on details in order to go to download page on Chrome. Okay, so let's go to the download page on Chrome. Perfect. Okay, so the file is still downloading. It will take just a, a little bit. Okay, same way to install it. Click on the file, hit install. Click open. You need to click continue on the bottom right. Click OK. Perfect. Now click on the bypass FRP. Click go to settings. We need to go to biometrics and security. Here it is. Other security settings. It should be on the bottom. Device admin apps. Click on the device admin apps. Okay, here it is. You need to check if any of this option it is enabled. We need them both off. In this case, it's okay, but if you have it any of these on, you need to turn it off. Okay, so once we have the both off, you need to go back to settings. Back again. Okay, so you need to go to applications or apps. It should be somewhere over here. Okay, scroll down and find Google Play Services. Google Play Services. Okay. You need to hit disable, which is on the bottom left. Disable up and force stop on the bottom right. Okay. Once we have disabled, you need to go back to settings. Accounts and backup. Accounts. Add account. Google. Over here, con click continue. Ignore the error message, just click outside of those. We don't really care about the errors. Click OK. Now over here you need to sign in with your Gmail. I'm going to sign in with my Gmail, but you have to sign in with your Gmail in order to replace the previous email that was on, the, on this device. OK. Continue. Perfect. After you sign in, you should get this error message. No problem. It is all, all okay. You can see that Gmail is over there on your phone. You need to go back to settings. You need to go back to applications. And you need to enable the application that we disabled earlier, which was Google Play Services. Okay. Click enable, bottom left. Okay, perfect. So, so now all you need to do is go back to the very first page. Just hit back until you go to the welcome screen. Perfect. Now you need to set up the phone normally. Basically, it will not ask you for any Gmail this time. Instead, it will say that the account is already added and you can proceed further. Let's wait for the message. Okay, here we are, account, edit. So you can go next. Next. I'm gonna configure the phone real fast in order not to waste time. It's important that you set a pin over here. I'm going to set it to four zeros. Okay, confirm zero, 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 zero again. Okay, so you can skip the fingerprint or the face unlock. Scroll down, hit OK. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna skip also the Samsung account when it asks for.
okay skip samsung account also skip anyway click finish and here we are the phone is completely unlocked right now i suggest you to make a factory reset from settings in order to get the phone back to the factory mode scroll down go to the general okay general management reset erase all data factory reset Let's try to find factory reset over here delete all we need to type the pin that you set here earlier go next delete all now okay okay so that was it the phone is completely unlocked right now when the phone starts it will be just like a new one no pin lock on it no google account and the phone will take updates regularly from google okay guys thanks for watching give it a like comment below and don't forget to subscribe bye